Welcome. This is how to draw a detailed urban environment using pencil. Now, the easiest way to kick off is by tracing. Simply attach some sticky tape onto the corners of your paper and place them onto a portion of the image you intend to draw. This will help keep it stable. I'm using my TV screen, but you can also use your computer, monitor or projector so long as it's big enough to fit the paper with the corners secured onto the surface. Now, first step of tracing, we're going for the straight lines. So using a ruler, try to distinguish objects with straight edges or that appear straight. It's not really that hard considering it is an urban environment. And it's also a good idea to use heavy weighted pencils like 2B when tracing, especially on a screen so as not to, so as not having the need to apply too much pressure. Now, as you can see, I'm going very gently and lightly with my pencil and ruler to get the right outlines. And if done correctly, this can help you in the long run of your drawing. And try to get as much lines in every nook and cranny as possible. You don't want to get too caught up with what goes where later on. All right. And remember to keep that ruler nice and steady. Now, with vegetation, you're just going over little patches and gaps with a little bit of shading and thicker lines which may be required in this process. Keep them scattered. Back again with lines, you may come across corners and gaps. Just go slowly and carefully and bring out those very distinguishable shapes. Okay, once you're done tracing, carefully remove the paper from your screen and gently peel off the tape like so. Nice and easy. There we go. Kind of like peeling a band-aid off. You don't want to do it too hastily. Okay. And you should end up with something like this. And there's our reference image, which is also always good to have on standby. All right, now's the fun part. With your 2B pencil, you can start off with small marks, or if you need to, perhaps you'd like to go over some lines again. Now, just keep an eye out for the dark and light areas, and notice how they interact with one another. Some area, some lighter areas will require your pencil to glide gently over, with the darker areas, you'll push down a little harder to get that nice contrast. Some objects may start off darker but may shift to lighter tones when passing over darker backgrounds. With vegetation, you want to keep those marks scattered yet controlled at the same time. Darker solid surfaces are going to need a good rough up with that pencil. But always remember to keep it steady. Now back to vegetation. The trick here is keeping the form as random as possible since nature tends to be that way. But even with your outline formed, it can all seem like a jumbled mess in the tree line. So it's important to constantly refer to your reference image for specific details. Now the shrubs here catch most of the light at the top, whereas at the base, there are shadows. So a good idea is to bring out those highlights by covering the background. And don't forget your mid-tones as it will bring balance to your image. Keep that pencil sharp and a general rule I'm sure you already know as this will also allow you to achieve thicker marks in the tree canopies. So instead of individual leaves, we're going for patches. And this is a great way to achieve 
that mark. All right, everybody on the bus. I'm going to darker patches first, but you can alternate between shades and fix them up as you go along. Now, you probably noticed there's a lot of funky looking patterns here and topography, so just keep that in mind. It also helps to have a nice, well-defined outline for the bus, as this is the central figure in the drawing. Contrast can go a long way and really bring your image to life. So look for those darker areas and just go crazy, but take it easy on the lighter areas. By doing so, you should be able to form strong definitive shapes within your drawing. Now I'm sure we've all done some colouring in before, and the general rule is to stay within the lines. Get this right and you can't go wrong. And of course, some lines may require a good touch up, which could really add to the detail. Trees that are exposed to the sky background often give more of a silhouette effect. So leaves are best formed by creating individual marks, like so. And don't be afraid to really hack into it. Areas not as exposed to sunlight as you can see here really contrast the surface of the structure, which in this case is the roof of the bus stop. Create a definitive line separating these two components and apply dark tones to emphasize light and shadow. Shadows casted on the concrete and bitumen just need a light shade. Just glide very carefully with your pencil and stay within the lines at all times. As always, press harder for darker surfaces. Every patch of tone counts. Now, you'll notice patterns starting to form and lighter areas are left out to give the illusion of light surfaces. Just try to keep them as even as you can. And be mindful of direction. Some stains on the sidewalk will bring more realism and detail into the drawing. Here we have dark objects situated behind these handrails. Stay within the lines and you'll be fine. Grass blades stand out lightest against a dark background. Maybe it's a good idea to keep your pencil extra sharp to get those individual blades. Blades of grass in the shade will stand out against a light concrete background and are easier to draw as all you have to do is flick each blade upwards with your pencil. The edging between the sidewalk and grass patch consists of semi-squiggly broken lines. Hold your pencil at an angle to achieve this effect. Now, once you've got your edge, shade in the patch of grass by moving in a slightly circular motion. Just keep in mind that this patch is still lighter than the strip of shadow at the back, but darker than the concrete. So it's essentially a mid-tone. Apply mid-tones to highlights in the trees if you haven't done so already and give your work some finishing touches. And there you have it. 
you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.